How to use the dismissible widget in Flutter. Hi everyone, it's great to have you back on my channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you about dismissible widget in Flutter. The dismissible tool in Flutter lets us make swipe friendly items that we can remove or perform action, like deleting, archiving, or making as read in a list or create. It's a super handy for doing things like quickly deleting stuff with a swap. Now let's check out how to use the dismissible widget in more detail. If you are enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get started. The dismissible widget comes with different settings that you can adjust to change how it works and looks. Let's take a closer look at each parameter and its purpose. The key is a unique identifier for the widget. Child is the main content for the dismissible item. The background is widget displayed when swapping in the primary direction. The secondary background is widget displayed when swapping in the secondary direction. The confirm dismiss is a callback to confirm or cancel the dismissal. The unresize is a callback when the widget is resizing during dismissal. An update is a callback when the dismissal is updated. The undismissed is a callback when the item is dismissed. The direction parameter allowed dismissal direction and so on. Let's come back to code and make a list of items that we can swap away. For instance, we can start with a list of words or phrases. Then in the body section, I've set up a list view builder that retrieves item from the list we made earlier. In the item builder, we are displaying a list where each item's title is shown as a text, pulling it from that list we created. Now let's add the dismissible widget to make our item swappable. Put each item inside a dismissible widget within the list view builder or another widget that fits well. For the key parameter, make sure to assign a unique key to dismissible widget. You can base this key on the content of the items in the list at the specific index. Then to manage dismissal action within the undismissed callback of the dismissible widget, we can specify what happens when the item is swapped away. In this case, the item gets removed from the list. However, we can modify this behavior to suit our needs, like deleting the item from a database or executing different action that fit our situation. In the next step, you can personalize the swap background by using the background parameter of the dismissible widget. This lets us create a custom background when an item is swapped. You can add icons, colors, or any widgets that show what action like deleting is being performed. In summary, the dismissible widget is a fantastic tool in Flutter, making it easy to add swap to dismiss functionality in a lists or grades. Its flexibility, allowing customization of swap directions and backgrounds, gives developers the power to craft smooth and intuitive user experiences. Ultimately, the dismissible widget significantly boosts the usability and interactivity of mobile applications. Thank you for joining me on this learning journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe for more tutorials and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.